Hi, it's Heather. I am back with another process video. Thank you for joining me. I am creating a layout for a picture of my mother on Mother's Day, and I'm working with Dear Lizzie Fifth and Frolic collection, which is many years old. I couldn't even tell you what year this came out, but I am slowly but surely working through my stash. And if you watched my last or one of the last process videos, I also was working with this collection and I started with one plan and changed directions and then was left with a lot of odd size um, pattern paper. So I needed to come up with a plan that would still allow me to use the pattern paper. So I cut two inch strips and then cut them in half. And you see the ones that I started out there with, but I realized I needed to cut more photos. I didn't have enough mix of the colors in the collection that I wanted, so I cut um, three or four different strips. And I don't make you watch me watch this, watch this whole process because it took me an enormous amount of time. But basically my thought was um, to create a quilted background if you will, uh, is a layout for my mother. And when I think of my mother and think of home, the idea of a quilt came to mind. Not that she makes quilts or I make quilts, but in my mind, it all made sense. So it took me a bit of time to lay these out. And now I'm just cutting off the excess off the edges. And because there was so much pattern paper going on in the background, I cut a strip of vellum to layer under my photo and to help um, or to layer under the embellishments because I realized as I was starting to go through the embellishments I wanted to use that it was there was so much going on and I just felt like it was too busy. So I did layer some of the uh, little cards that came in the embellishments behind my photo and now I am popping it up on some foam, which you can see I've already used it. I was left over from a card, but still does the job. I left that area in the top left open because I had planned to lay my title there at an angle. And after I was done with this layout, I was very pleased with the way that I came out. And you, can't, and you don't see it yet, but in a moment I do take some time, which I don't make you watch, I cut that out and I stitched through all of the edges. So if you can see the four triangles make a square. So I stitched, stitched the edge of those and then I stitched through the centers as well. And so I was really happy with the way that that turned out and I was very proud of myself. And then after I created this layout, I was catching up on some classes from big picture classes and watched one and forgive me I don't recall her name but I she created the same layout now it's not exactly the same layout it certainly wasn't the same collection but <laughs> I guess the saying goes great minds think alike and not at all comparing myself to one of the pros on big picture classes but have you ever done a layout that you're really proud of and then you realize yeah it wasn't really original after all <laughs> And I'm sure that it's been done countless times before. I'm sure I wasn't the first person who did this, but I hadn't seen it done. And I just, anyway, but people scrap lift all the time intentionally. So um, I didn't see it as a problem. And I'm so really happy with the way that it turned out. So I am just going through the embellishments. And right now I'm going through some random pieces that I have that sit on my desk of some die cuts that I've made and some from other collections that have just been left over. I leave them out of my desk so I remember to use them because if I put them away then I will forget. And I pulled out these two little flourishes that I cut. I have that die but it was out of mirrored card and it just it's too shiny. It didn't end up working for me. So these are some flair that I had set aside that I thought I would go through and pick out one or two to add to the layout. It is not my whole stash of flair. I have a whole jar of them. I am a little bit of a flair addict. Actually, I'm probably a paper addict and a puffy sticker addict, but 
that is a story for another time. I know I'm not the only one either. So anyway, I'm going through the embellishments. And at this point, I think it's pretty much the way that I want it. And I, um, I don't think I have attached anything at this point because I, I wait until I am absolutely sure of the whole layout before I start gluing things down. But I knew that I wanted to add that happy, to, um, like a poxy sticker, and I'm pretty sure that that's from a, maybe a crepe paper sticker sheet. And I went into the sticker book because it's the Paige Evans sticker book, and I know that there are some really tiny alphas in there that I was going to complete my title with. It's going to be Happy Mother's Day, which is not original at all, but that's what it was. <laughs> that's what the story of this layout is. Um, but before I get there, I am just adding some little stickers and uh, I think I add some hearts and some little phrase stickers like the one that's above the photo it says mom life and that little scallop sticker and the colors match really well so it it just seemed appropriate to add some of the stickers from the sticker book because it the yellows I mean, it's not a perfect match but it matched enough for me um I'm just adding that little heart sticker and I think I there's ton of hearts in this sticker book like a lot of hearts a lot of flowers and a lot of hearts and I have been using the sticker book on a lot of my recent layouts and there's still so many left <laughs> which is good I'm I'm glad so there I have my title laid out and I am showing you now the stitching that I did I did straight stitch and some zigzag stitch and those are little um, tiny square alphas from Paige Evans sticker book. So that is going to be my title and I am just pondering and making sure that I'm happy with it. And you see I'm going back just to look um, if there's anything else that I want to add and I take that little um, clear sticker it says love you so much and just to be sure that that is my title before I commit. <laughs> I'm just looking through everything and now I am going to commit. So I knew I wanted to add that happy because it matched. And you know, when you get down to like the last couple of pieces of a sticker sheet and you just, you just want to use it and you just, <laughs> does anybody else feel like that ever? So this was one of those. So I am using my tweezers to place those little tiny, tiny, tiny stickers, um, which I don't make you watch. And I am, what am I doing at this point? Oh, I am adding some foam to um, part of the sticker down in the bottom right. And so these are the flowers that are in that sticker book. I add, I think like four or five of them around the photo, just tucking them in underneath. And again, I know there's so much going on in the background, but the flowers just, they matched and it seemed like it complete the layout to me. I had that big cluster on the bottom left of the photo and that was part of the Fifth and Frolic collection. So I just wanted to add a little bit more flowers around the layout. And now I'm just looking to see if there's any other phrase stickers that I wanna add which I think I add maybe one or two more. And then I go back to the flowers. I just, I kept flipping through the book and I kept finding another page of, that had something on it that I wanted to add. And it's just, if anybody doesn't have this book, it is well worth the money because it will just, it will last you and last you and last you. There's just, every time I look through it, I see something else and I think about, the layout that I'm going to use it on. So it's definitely worth it. Um, I am placing some little puffy hearts. Those are from Freckled Fawn, the white ones. And then I have a stack of the epoxy hearts. Those are from Bella Boulevard. And I add a couple of those red. They're, they're, I think they're supposed to be red. They're not really red. They're like dark red pink, if that makes sense. <laughs> it's not a true red, but it kind of matches that darkish pink color so yeah I'm just trying to figure out whether it matches enough so and I decide that it do so I am adding two or three of those little tiny hearts 
on the layout. And at this point, I realized that the title seemed kind of bare. Um, so I, I do add a couple of those hearts. And I actually got the package of Brad's from that collection too, which you don't see me put in here. I actually decided to add them after. And I think I have three on them. And I'm glad that I was able to incorporate them. So I just squirted out a little bit of multimedia mats and I am placing some sequins scattered about the page. And that's usually my last step, like that's the finishing touch. And I'll take my tweezers and dip it in the, the adhesive and place them. And that is usually about it. I am adding sequins to basically every project lately. <laughs> I love them. So I add in some splatters of some yellow color shine from Honey Swap and some shimmers just a little bit you know above the title and a couple places around the photo that is a Heidi Swap color shine and after that that is it so this is my finished layout I really hope you enjoyed this video and found some inspiration in what I've done Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the support. Please hit like and subscribe and I will be back soon with another video. Thanks again. Have a great day.